<laughs> All right. Addy, it just seemed like you guys were so comfortable out there today. I mean, especially compared to that West Virginia game. Did you guys just feel a lot more loose, playing a lot better today, or what? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone contributed today, and we were just playing, like, really good team basketball. Our defense was really good, and that led to our offense, and it was just a really solid win today. How do you feel about a championship rematch now? Everybody's been looking forward to possibly <laughs> playing LSU again. How do you feel about facing off against LSU? Yeah, today? I'm excited to play them again. I think it'll be a really good game, and we got to watch them today and the past few weeks, really, in the tournament, so I'm really excited to get to play against them again. To have a game like this on this stage, what, what's that got to do for, for this team's confidence? And it's going to feel really special to do something like this. These games aren't supposed to be easy, but you made it look really easy. Yeah, I think it's really good for our confidence. Obviously, our last game wasn't as good offensively as we know we can do, but going in tonight, having 89, almost 90 points, like that's a real confidence booster on the offensive side, which we need, and also on defense, we did really good. Did this feel like just the most evenly spread out? I mean, I think you had five players in double figures, a lot of people scoring. Did it just feel like you guys, everybody just had their best game coming in today? Yeah, I do think that. I think everyone was able to find a way to score and do a lot of different things, and people were finding open people, and everyone was just doing a really good, great job tonight. I don't think I was ever been to two straight Elite Eights in program history. I, I need to double-check that, but I'm pretty sure. But what's it like to be able to be a part of a program like that where you've been part of two straight Elite Eights? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, that's part of the reason why I came here was because I knew Caitlin said she wanted to take us here and it's what I wanted to do. <laughs> How does Caitlin seem to know where everybody's going to be at every second when she's on the court again? My 15 assists today. Yeah, I mean, she just has like eyes everywhere, <laughs> like eyes in the back of her head, even like she just knows where people are supposed to be. And we work on that in practice too. Like, it's not just games, like, she's making incredible passes all the time. So, there's a lot of practice that goes into that. You're the Colorado girl on the team. Uh, did you know any of those girls on the other side? Or, I mean, how, how is this to be your home, home state team? Yeah, um, I was really close with the coaches. Oh, really? at, yeah, and then. And I knew Kendall. We played club kind of together. She tore her ACL, so I never actually got to play with her, but I know her pretty well. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Is this kind of a rivalry at all for you personally to be able to beat them two years in a row? I mean, kind of the home state team or anything like that? Or am I reading too much into it? <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's good that we got <laughs> got to win against them and kind of just that I made the right choice coming here instead of staying home. Were they your team growing up, or who was your team when you were a kid? Um, I don't know if I really had a team. My mom's from Iowa, so I probably would say the Hawkeyes, okay. yeah. All right, thanks, Addie. Yeah. Well, five starters and double figures. I mean, how when you guys are doing that, yeah. you're gonna really hard to beat. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think it's really hard to guard us whenever everybody's knocking down shots, and that's what we want. I thought that was just really pretty basketball tonight. Um, whenever everybody's scoring, getting the ball, sharing the love, I think uh, you know that's when we're at our best, and it's really hard to guard and hard to beat us at that point. What did you see from Caitlin tonight? I mean, it looked like yeah. she found out right away early in the game. Yeah. I can get to the hoop whenever yeah. I want, and then passing mm -hmm. the ball, she seemed pretty comfortable. Yeah, I thought Caitlin stayed super composed tonight, 15 assists and only two turnovers, and I thought she attacked the basket well. I mean, she's the best player in the country, obviously, and she just keeps showing us that every single night. What can you say about her vision and the way she's able to just always seem to know where everybody is on the court? Yeah, you just got to be ready for her passes for sure. And um, I just think she's always a little bit of a step ahead than everybody else. And she sees things develop before they even develop. So um, she's phenomenal. It's why she's one of the best players. What did you guys think in halftime? Were you pretty comfortable? Uh, we try not to ever get comfortable. Uh, we're never comfortable with any type of lead. You see in March Madness, people blow 20-point leads all the time. So uh, really what we said is play to win. Um, don't get comfortable. Don't play to not lose. Um, just, you know, foot, foot, foot on the gas and keep rolling. Just your thoughts about another shot at LSU? Yeah, we're really excited. Obviously, whoever we played, we're, we're excited just to get to the, you know, to make it to the Elite Eight again. And uh, it doesn't matter who we play, but I'm excited to game plan for them, and I'm excited to play. Did you feel like this team was going to come out with this kind of performance? Our team? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should do that every night. I mean, I believe in every single person in this locker room, I, and that, that it did not surprise me one sing, single bit.
considering the opponent, the stage, is the Sweet 16, was this maybe your best performance or one of the best of your career, just how much you won this game by? Um, I thought, yeah, I was really pleased with how we handled this game. I thought we controlled from the tip to the final whistle, and uh, I think we can do that every every single night. Um, I think you saw a really composed veteran team out there tonight and us, and um, I'm really proud of how balanced we were, and uh, I'm really proud of everybody's effort tonight. Um, we did what we had to do to win. I'm not totally sure about this. Susan might fact check me, but I think this is the first time I've been to two straight Elite Eights. Um, just what's it like to be part of a program like that for two years in a row making it this far? Yeah, I think that just shows the consistency and what Coach Gluter's built here and the consistency and excellence that we strive for every single day. Um, you know, this was a goal of ours. We want to get back to an Elite Eight or to a Final Four, and, I mean, we're giving us ourselves the best opportunity to get to that. So I'm really proud of everybody's effort tonight. Thanks. Inevitably, there's probably going to be a lot of distractions flying in the next 48 hours uh -huh. before Monday night. Does this kind of feel like the ultimate test of this team's veteran maturity just to handle everything that's inevitably coming? Sure. I, mean, I, I don't know if it – yeah, I guess I would just say, like, stay off of social media. Like, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to stay mission-focused and focus on us. We, we don't really care about what the outsiders have to say. They're not in this locker room with us every day. They're not here, you know, handling – our business that we do every single day and so uh, obviously everybody was looking forward to this matchup I'm sure um, but I mean we are too like yeah. we, we want to play anybody so it doesn't matter you know who the other team is uh, we're just going to handle our business how we do and uh, yeah just stay mission focused. It was I imagine inevitable to know that LSU had won before you guys had started. Mm -hmm. Did did anybody say anything or need to say anything or was it just kind of hey? No, we were just focused on Colorado in that moment. We didn't, you know, we had the game on sure. and we saw they won, obviously, but uh, nothing needed to be said. We were just focused in the moment, focused on Colorado. And, you know, if we didn't focus on Colorado and we're looking too far ahead, then maybe we don't win that game tonight. Could you say what you saw out of LSU in that game? I mean, just what, what stuck out to you with, from this one? Um, yeah, I mean, you I, as you guys know, they, they're really big. Um, they've got a really good inside presence, and they have really good guards who are explosive, have good mid-range game, and can shoot the three. Um, and they also have a deep bench. And, uh, you know, I think for us, you know, we'll just have to, you know, stick to our game plan and whatever Coach Bluter comes up with. You know, she's a master in that. And so, um, I don't know. I, I think anybody is amazing at this point. You know, there's only eight teams left or, I don't know, do people play tomorrow? Or, uh, yes. yes. Yeah, so, I mean, there's only a few teams left and uh, we're one of those teams and so we're really good too. So we're just going to stay confident in us and uh, obviously worry about them a little bit, but our main focus is ourselves. Thanks, Kate. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Nice job out there. That was a fun one. Okay, were you playing in the Kobe's tonight? Did you have these on for tonight's game? Was, how many people played in them? Most of you guys? Or? No. <laughs> I always work for you. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't last year because I was in school and like stuff was just shut down. Oh, really? No, that's the thing. Like, I've only this year like tried to pay attention to shoes just because I'm like, yeah. okay. I think I know that logo is, you know, the mom. Yeah. Uh, Kobe's are those the same thing?
It was definitely a little nerve wracking at first, but really exciting. I mean, I just want my team to win. So, and when I got the opportunity, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm playing in a Sweet 16. This is pretty exciting. But uh, mainly just happy that we won and we're advancing. What, uh, what just watching and participating in the game, how close did that match what you hoped when you were going over the game plan? I mean, it definitely exceeded my expectations. Um, I think we played really well from the jump. We executed the game plan really well, and I think everyone had a really great night. Um, so, yeah, it was exciting to see all the stuff that we prepped and practiced kind of come to light in even better form. Uh, watching Caitlin, the logo threes get the attention, but the passing was what kind of left me slack jawed. What, what do you think about her passing? It's always been elite. I've watched her since she was in middle school, and I think definitely her scoring sets her apart, but I think her passing is something that people don't give enough credit to. It's, it's outstanding. Um, she does a great job. She can see the floor really, really well. All right, what do you think about Iowa getting another crack at LSU? I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it at that. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jada. <laughs> Just uh, first off, I, I think this is the first time ever that I was made it to the Elite Eight two years in a row. Just what's it like for you to be a part? I mean, you're two for two on Elite Eight appearances so far. What's it like to uh, be a part of a program like this? Um, I think it's really awesome, um, especially to be the first to do it is really cool. Um, I, don't, I don't know anything different, <laughs> so, well, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> I must be good luck. What's, what's it? <laughs> <laughs> that has to be it. Um, what's it taken for you guys to get here again for two years in a row for you to be so consistent, so good, playing so well in the postseason? Um, I think we prepared really well. Um, our scouts are really good. You know, Coach Fitz is a really good scout. So, um, How did you feel about today's performance overall? It seemed like just from the opening tip, you guys were just so comfortable. It seemed like you guys just had a little bit of different flow out there today, mm -hmm. it? But especially compared to the last game. Yes. Um, I thought it was great to come out. All of our starters in double digits is really cool. Um, I think we're at our best when we're playing team ball, so um, it was really fun just being out there and playing together. And um, Yeah, I think we just vibed really well today. It seemed like Caitlin, her court vision was just on another level. She had 14 assists. I mean, it seemed like she just, her passing especially, just was on a different level today. Yeah, she has great court vision all the time. Um, and it's great when she's sharing the ball. Um, then we knock down shots, obviously. So, how were you able to get their two bigs out of the game? I mean, they played about half the first half, and you guys still to lead them. Oh, well, they both had two fouls. Right. So then, but what did you guys do to help contribute to that? <laughs> um, I think just attacking them on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is that the way you saw the game going? The, the, that you were, you'd be able to maybe get them out of the game for a while? Um, I think that's the goal. Pretty much in every game, you know, if the best players are on the bench with fouls, then yeah. it's hard for them to score from there. So. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's uh, inevitably going to be a lot of distractions flying in the next 48 hours. Um, this team has obviously touted its better maturity and ability to handle all that all year. Does this feel like you know, kind of the ultimate test of that between now and Monday night? Um, I don't know. I think we're prepared. We've been preparing for this for So, do you want to go like over my shoulder? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I could probably go right here. I just need somebody to maybe. I can hold your mic if you need. Can you hold two mics? I'll figure it out. 
think so, man. I'll double mic just for, just for you, Owen, man. Or you could just use a mic. You never need to be up front after our, you got the sore arms yesterday. <laughs> yes. That picture. <laughs> It's either me or Owen. What's you or Owen? Get, 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 get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go get Gabby, Keith. Go get her. Yeah, camera folks, anybody go get her. <laughs> Ah, you're doing the, I was doing the head pod yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's genius. Oh my goodness. The only thing is it's hard like is perfect. Especially <laughs> when you turn like this, it's like you, you at least have the also a group. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's, what, what, That's what it looks like. <laughs> the struggle. The only thing is hard is focusing. Like when you're looking at one eyeball like this, yeah. it's not hard to, to make sure it's focused. <laughs> I've got about most of them, so yeah, I think we'll do it. Oh, I got a little in the room? No. Poor Owen. This is like, I'm going to Yeah, he's going to back us up. I know, I feel like I'm missing my Sydney clothes. Nope. Oh yeah, oh, it's, it's Sid, it's Sid and Gabby. Interesting. Well, good for Sid, I'm glad she was on the podium. I'll just grab a podium quote from Sid when we go. I think she's coming in soon. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Whitesell's standing there. And I feel like I'm getting uh, a right now. Punch says, <laughs> All these lights on this. Alright, guys, so it was a great screen. game. Can everyone just take like two steps back over here so give her a little, little breathing room? Yep, perfect. Breathe. I'm going to suck with the expanded circle. You've got a little bit more room. Oh, that's, that's true. <laughs> now you figured out, I guess. <laughs> I think at least this might work. Oh, let's make sure that these don't get tangled up, though. I'm just going to disconnect them. Here, I got it. You got it? I'm going to turn my camera. Yeah. It's got the problem. There's a camera and there's a camera. Yep. Here, she, here, she, here she be. All right. Yeah, we're going to back it up, guys. You know, we're going to go over All right, that would have helped you guys. Yeah, sure. Okay, look, back, back, back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's back it up, okay? Okay, just give... She's playing a really hard game. Let's give her some space, okay? Thank you. James, can you talk about the game plan to take it the best? Yeah, I think uh, coming into the game, we, I know they're going to pressure the ball really, really well. And once we got our first couple ball screens set, I could tell that their, their big was just staying back in the paint. So um, they had to choose between me or Hannah once we were getting ball screens. And I continued just to get ball screens set. And um, that's kind of what they gave me all night. And once it was working, you know, you just keep going back to it. How's it feel to uh, get another shot at LSU? I think we're excited. I think more than anything, we're happy about this win and focused on enjoying that. And then tonight, we'll turn the page and, and focus on them and go through the scout and all that. To have all five starters in double figures. Yeah. How awesome is that? Yeah, I think that's. I wouldn't be surprised if we won every single game when we play basketball like that. I think that just speaks to, you know, the way we were able to put together a complete game tonight. I thought our defense was great. I thought our transition offense was great. I thought, you know, our half-court offense was really good. And when we're able to dominate all, all areas of the game, you know, we're really successful. And, um, you know, we only gave up, I think, 68 points. That's really great defense against a team that has some really great offensive weapons. And, um, yeah, I thought, you know, Gabby shot the ball really well. Sid came in and gave, gave really great minutes. And that she's kind of just an X factor for us. So, 
just really proud of the girls. 15 assists for you, Kayla. How much do you enjoy distributing the ball and setting everybody yeah. else up on the team? Yeah, I think that's you know an area of my game that I've always taken a lot of pride in, and um, I think when people really run the floor, I want to reward them. Um, you know, whether they make it or not, continue to reward them for working hard and getting up and down the floor. And, you know, transition offense is really where I thrive and I get a lot of my assists. And, you know, at the same time, that makes my life e easier, too. When other people are able to knock down shots and make baskets, it's, the defense has to pick and choose uh, who they're going to guard. And um, I thought that's what we did really well tonight. Obviously not the same team that you saw last year in the championship in the final, but a lot of the same players. Mm -hmm. What do you take away or what can you take away from last year's game with them? I think knowing how well coached they are and you know how good they are individually, they're a really skilled basketball team. Um, you know, we didn't defend very well last year. That's going to be a key going into this game. We got to find a way to defend, but then complete the defensive possession with a box out. They're a really great rebounding team, and um, you know we faced a lot of really great rebounding teams before. So being able to find somebody and box them out, I think we gave up 12 0 boards in the first half tonight, which wasn't very good. I don't know what we ended with, but. Um, that's going to be a key going into this game. You and you and Angel have been have drawn comparisons to Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is you know women's basketball is in a really great place. It's not just me and Angel, and I know she would say the exact same thing. There's so many stars in our game, so many young stars, so much young talent, and um, I think what we're both able to do for our respective programs has been really special. And the way we've elevated women's basketball has been really cool. And I've watched a lot of LSU games this year, and the way their fans support them has been cool. And you know, they've, you know, Kim Mulkey has done a great job with that program, uh, brings a national title in one of her first few years. So um, I think more than anything, it's just been great for women's basketball. Is there a rivalry between you and Angel? No, I would not say that at all. I do you think Sid played again? I kind of put it into words. What Sid, are you finding in the line? Sid's my girl. I mean, I love Sid. She's, she's one of those players. She's going to get you know, roughed up. She's going to die for loose balls. She's going to bang her head on the floor, but it doesn't matter. She's going down the next possession and she's going to work her butt off um, for 40 minutes. That's exactly who she is. And I think the biggest thing with Sid is like she played behind really great, great players for two years and she never hung her head. She didn't go to the transfer portal. She knew her time would come. And I'm just so proud of her from the Big Ten tournament really to this point. She's been one of our best players and it's just been so fun to see because she deserves it more than anybody because that girl just works so hard. She's in the gym just as much as anybody, and you know she always has a smile on her face and brings that X Factor mentality we really need. Caitlin, you said this is the first time in three games that you felt like you played a complete game. Yeah. What are the emotions that kind of go along with that when you're in it, and realizing that you're playing that complete game? Yeah, I would, I would say it's across the board. Like I feel like our team played a really complete game. I thought. For us, I honestly think it starts on defense. Everybody always wants to talk about our offense and talk about how great our offense is. And sure, yeah, it's always great, and you know we find ways to win. But when our defense is great, that allows us to get into our transition game. That allows us to get into, um, you know, whether it's our half court offense if they stop our transition. But I think it starts on defense for us. And um, I don't know how many points they scored in the fourth quarter, but 60, holding a team to 68 points is really, really good. And they faced a lot of really great competition all year long. And um, Hannah did a great job defending their post player who gets a lot of O boards. It just felt like everybody really locked in on their matchup. We switch up the defenses a lot. And, um, you know, when we're able to do that, I think it poses a really hard challenge for teams. In the first needed. half, you had eight, eight assists, zero turnovers. Sec I mean, you finished with maybe 14 to 2, something like that. Was that one of the biggest things you wanted to clean up coming into this game, the turnovers? Yeah, I think, you know, turnovers and I think really executing. I thought we set and used screens a lot better tonight. I thought. We really set them up. I thought we came off them hard. I thought our post players really, you know, set some good screens in transition. I thought we cut well. I thought we looked at our cutters. Um, I thought we played a little tense versus West Virginia, and their ball pressure was really good, and their de denial defense was really good if you didn't have the ball. And that was a little different going into this game. You know, Colorado, they have great ball pressure, but they don't deny technically on the perimeter. So um, I think that was great. I know we still had 19 turnovers, but it didn't really feel like that. I thought, you know, whether it was in transition or whatnot, our turnovers didn't really hurt us, and that's also important, too. How neat is it for you to sign hats and shirts? And yeah, I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. How? <laughs> <laughs> Every single game, it's not even like if, if we win or lose. So um, I like that we do that, and it's just like a moment we can share between the team and the fans. You guys built that early lead, and then Colorado never really made any threatening runs. What were you guys kind of able to do to make sure that they weren't able to get back in it? Yeah, I would say obviously the way we started the third quarter helped. Um, 
those two quick steals led to some momentum. I think we were still able to keep our shooters from, you know, kind of getting easy shots. We kind of ma tried to make it tougher for them the whole game. Um, so I think we did that really well. And, you know, Hannah holds 21 to no awards, which was a huge emphasis to, for us because they had 22 awards last, last game. But, you know, I mean, their post not getting any awards helps a lot because kind of hold them to one shot um, and I mean more possessions leads to greater success and so I think that was also a huge huge by Hannah um, to lead to our success. Have you thought about LSU at all? I know the game has ended but the rematch I mean what's going through your mind? Yeah I haven't really thought about it at all. Um, I think I'll obviously think about it more once we go over the scout when we get back to the hotel but you know, I, we're going to prepare the same way. It's just, in our heads, it's just another another team on our way to our goals, you know. And I think we're not going to do, we're not going to prepare any differently than we have all year. We're going to be the same team, and we're going to play Iowa basketball no matter what. Eat the same These scenario. games aren't yes. supposed to be easy, yeah, but you guys made it look easy out here today. What do you think that says about this team? All five starters in double figures, and you really never let Colorado have a shot in this game. Yeah, I think it really shows what we're capable of if we play together and play a complete 40 minute game and I think that's what we did out there. I think we made a great in-game adjustments. Um, obviously there was a lot of attention and pressure on Caitlin and it kind of opened things up throughout the game for the other players and we took advantage of them. We took advantage of you know, them helping in on Hannah and three-point shooters being open or them helping out on the corners and Caitlin kind of having that lane drive or that dump pass to Hannah. I think we, we just really read what they were but the, we read their defense and you know took advantage of it the whole game. Considering the state, considering the stage, the caliber of team you're playing, it's a Sweet 16. I mean, was this maybe one of the best overall games that Iowa has played since you've been on the team? Um, there's been some good games, but I I think any team that you get Sweet Sweet 16, um, Elite Eight, whatever, there's going to be good good team, you know. And we knew that they were going to be a good team, solid team. They're fundamentally sound on defense and. But they were going to throw different things at us. I mean, in the second half, they went to that zone, and we kind of struggled there for a bit. But then we like got back to the flow of the flow of the game, and you know, made those adjustments and those reads. Um, I think you know, they're a great team, but we did some some great things tonight, and we had that balance scoring, which is also two, oh, very sorry. important. <laughs> okay, sorry, two straight elite eights now for Iowa. I mean, how special is that to be part of just a historic run like this over two seasons? Yeah, you know, I think this team and this university is really special and so being able to do that for these coaches and with these girls there's no other group that I want to be doing this with um, it truly is a family here and I think you guys can see that on the court and that's kind of how we play we play with joy we play we play together we celebrate everyone's success and I think that's truly how we've gotten to be so successful and get to this point every single, in the last two years that's good. thank you guys Yeah, I mean, it's such a blessing, you know, the opportunities that I've dreamed of since I was a little girl and ever since I stepped on campus. Um, these are moments that I dreamed of, and I'm just super excited to be doing it with these girls. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Just one more for you, Sid. Um, just how did this one feel today, being able to be in such complete control from pretty much start to finish in this one? Yeah, it's super exciting going into um, this game on Monday, and I really think that it was a complete game, both offensively and defensively, and uh, five people scoring in double figures is huge. And I think we executed really well on defense as well, and Hannah held their post to zero rebounds, so that's so amazing to see, and I'm just super proud of these girls. I gotta go. Thanks, yeah. Sid. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. We'll see you. Thank you. Congratulations, Coach. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You look like you've been working the hard as these people. Okay. I wanted to make sure you got me. See you tomorrow. Yep.